Hi guys. We're gonna make fresh homemade pizza with my wood pellet fired pizza oven. It's a La Pepe Pro. As you can see here, I got it from Home Depot for around 220. I think they sell for 250 now. So it's all wood pellet, no propane. So I'll show you how we show you around back how we fill it with the fill with the pellets. I already put some pellets in here. The pellets go on the top. I'm gonna push this down. And these are the pellets we're using here. All natural, so you can cook with them. Uh, hardwood pellets. I already put some in there. Put a, put a few more in there. Put about three of these uh, halfway up or so. And then to light the pellets, I use these fire starters. That would fire starters. They catch on fire really good. They're all natural, so they're safe to cook with. And I just kind of load these on the bottom of the pellets there. So when they catch fire, the pellets will light up. Okay, so we'll we'll be back in a minute. I'll show you how it show you how it works. All right, now I'm going to light it. And these sticks light really good. Once they're lit, they really burn well. To the other side here, too. Come on. Okay, so the pellets are starting to catch fire. Uh, the tinder is here and if you look inside you can see see those pellets are really starting to burn I'm gonna put some more, more pellets in there and I use a big piece of wood here to stoke it okay let's see how much it moves about 200 so the ideal temperature that I like is, is between 650 and 700 degrees find that so, uh, anything hotter than that <coughs> excuse me is um, you just burn the pizza so I'm gonna let this preheat for about 15 minutes and get it up to temperature and then we'll come back all right so we're gonna get the dough ready here we've got two pizzas this is homemade dough, by the way. This is the only flour to use. This Tipo Zero Zero makes a great, great pizza. Okay, and the pizza oven, let's just walk over real quick to the pizza oven. As you can see, it's about 650 right now. I just add some more pellets, so it's gonna stay about that. It might even creep up to 700, as you can see. So we'll start the pizzas. Add a little bit. I like to put a little bit of flour on the bottom of the pizza pan. Just so it doesn't stick. Yeah. Because some some of the websites tell you to use cornmeal, the cornmeal burns and it scorches the pizza. So flour is really good. You want to make sure too after you uh, after you make the pizza after you flatten it out and make the pizza make sure it doesn't stick stick to the peel because you have to slide it off. So the flour is very important. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so this is our pizza. This is Lily's pizza, sauce and cheese, a little bit of olive oil on top. Olive oil helps out. This is my white pizza. Fresh tomatoes, onions, peppers, garlic, mozzarella, a little bit of olive oil as well. As well. All right, so come over here. As you can see, the temperature it's right at 700. It's a good spot to make it. Let me take it off here. 
tie the pizza right there. And it's going to stay in for about 20 30 seconds. And we're going to check it because it cooks really fast. Bit. Put it back in. Check it again. Take it out. And spin it one more time. Kind of spinning it by a third each time. Another 20 seconds. Right. And we are done. That's my white pizza. This is Lily's pizza. Almost ready. Oh boy. That's ready. So here are the finished products. That's my white pizza, peppers, tomato. That's our dog. That's our other dog. That's Lily's sauce and extra, extra cheese. And Lindsay's tomato pie with very, very little cheese. All right, but you can see the crust it gets nice and brown. Wow, Lily, yours looks super good. Yeah. I know. Lily's looks amazing. Yeah. This that oven makes a great really pizza. Time. All right. So everybody say goodbye. Let's start eating. Bye.